Hey guys, it's Brittany from Coffee Planner Mom and I'm here today with a fairly sizable haul. Um, I actually have one more package that is in transit, but I kind of wanted to just uh, get into these, get them hauled for you so I can get them all nice and cleaned up and start playing with them. I'm really excited. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. First up, we have a new to me shop. This one is Simply Beautiful Plans and she is based in Canada. I really love her packaging, by the way. Such pretty watercolor florals. So I used my friend Jody's name. I bought this during a collab sale and I used my friend Jody's name in the notes to seller section to get her freebie. Get this out. There we go. I've already gotten it out because I've already looked through all of this. So we have, so this was all of the, the freebies that we have going on. So this one is Jody's freebie and it is hollow foil. Whoa. Oh my God. Look at that. So this is definitely a like different hollow than I'm used to. Like look at the rainbow there. That's insane. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. Really impressive. Clearly I did not uh, get a good enough look at this. So we have seven uh, foil headers. We have a full box overlay. So this is a clear, clear freebie. So these are overlay headers and overlay full box. A little quote that says you didn't get drunk today. A stack of washi, but I really like that one. That one is like everything. A stack of washi, wine o'clock, and a bow. It's so pretty. Oh, wait a second. Yeah, it is. Okay, for a second I thought it was gold. But now it's like definitely hollow. Is this like gold hollow? Dude, I don't even know. All I know is I see the rainbow. See, like now I see, now I see gold. I think this is like a gold hollow. I don't know. Yeah, I'm seeing the rainbow. Can you guys see the gold? Nope, that's rainbow. That's rainbow. Okay, I swear, I'm I'm not losing my mind. So, Simply Beautiful Plants. She has a loyalty card. So here is her, her business card. And the back of it is a loyalty card. And also every time I use a sticker in a spread or haul it in a video, I always link the shop down below um, just so that you can find it easier. So she is on Etsy. Um, yeah, on this freebie, we have the little bow that goes on the loyalty card. We have a couple of boxes. So we have two quarter boxes, a half box, and then these are like little notepads, really pretty. We have a journaling card that says, here comes the sun. And then a thanks for ordering with her information on the back. So we have, I bought foil from her. And I got gold and rose gold in the two options. I really don't use silver, so I just didn't see a point in me getting silver foil. Um, I got a sheet of the Family Game Night, and her rose gold, it is, let's see, it's kind of, like, it's a nice rosy color. It's not too coppery. It's not, like, terribly pink either. It's a nice, like, middle, middle ground of rose. Um, so we have the Family Game Night, and I got it in, like I said, we have gold. Can you guys see? The, there we go. And then the rose gold, really pretty. And then I also got rose gold and gold um, food icons because I wanted something that I could put in my sidebar because that's where I track our dinners. And I thought that these would be really cute to use with my script stickers that I use and just kind of layer them all together. So that is my first order with Simply Beautiful Plants. Then we have another new to me shop. This is Graceful Muse Papery. I think she's also in Canada. I thought she was in Canada too. Um, so I have no 
not opened this. I thought that she had it packaged so beautifully. Um, very, very quick shipping too. She processed my order very quickly and it moved really, really quickly. So that was exciting. And yeah, I'm glad that I uh, waited to open this on camera because I am just destroying the tissue paper. We're just, there we go. All right. All right, so I have it out of the cello bag and everything. This is really, really pretty. This is actually her thank you card. So she wrote a very sweet thank you note on the back of it. That's just really beautiful. We have a freebie. Okay, so this is, is it rose gold? I think it's rose gold. Yes, it is rose gold. So we have two flags, two bows, and then three icons each in three different colors. So we have a coffee mug, wine glass, credit card, laundry basket, laundry machine, trash, heart balloons, and popcorn. This is a huge freebie. So this is Ashley's freebie. So she, I used my friend Ashley in the notes to seller to get her for you because she was also part of that same PGU sale that Simply Beautiful Plans was in. Um, hold on, I feel cut lines, what is this? Okay, I don't think you're gonna be able to see, but we have flags, we have two rows of flags and one row of circles, so bullet icons, in this really stunning floral. We have cute little bunnies over here and some scripts. And again, that's just a freebie. Then I bought a kit. I think it was only one kit. Um, I got these icons that match the kit. So the kit is called Spring Breeze. So we have the icons in the main colors that are found in the kit and it is in rose gold foil. It's probably why it was rose gold foil for the other freebie is because I got rose gold foil for this. Because of course I got rose gold foil because rose gold is my jam. So this is the kit itself. So we have eight full boxes and five half boxes on this first page. So there is, it is a foiled kit, which I'm really excited about. I've never gotten a foiled kit before. So I was really excited to try it. So pretty. Make sure you guys are seeing the shimmer. Page two has the full box ombre heart checklist. We have four labels over here and three more half boxes. So that is eight. Yeah, because there was five on the other page plus three is eight. So that is good. Date covers, oh good. Regular checklist flags, because those are my favorite ones to use. We have two habit trackers. We have two, four, five bullets, a couple of payday um, scalloped corners. We have, is that foil? Oh my gosh, this sheet is foiled too. Oh, awesome. Um, so we have day off, coffee first, grocery shop, family time, me time, happy meal, date night, trash day, this week, weekend. And we have a sidebar tracker. So that's what I always use for dinners. Such pretty foiling. And then the last page is the washi strips and we have some headers and a couple more quarter boxes. So it is also foil. So every page on this kit is foil, so I'm really excited about that. What is this, are these headers or are they washi strips? All right, so these are headers too. So we have pattern headers, to-do headers, and today headers. And then this is just a strip of washi so that if you wanted to take the whole thing across your entire page, you can. So that, I'm really excited, is my order from Graceful Muse Papery. All right, and then we have Rose Colored Days. So I love the fact that she has personalized, branded cello bags. That I think is just really awesome. So Rose Colored Days is usually my number one spot for foiling. So we have for freebies, this is a clear acetate June calendar in hollow. It's a holographic foil. So this is gonna go right into my B6, B6TN. 
we have her business card, which is in rose gold foiling. So pretty. And then on the back, think it, want it, get it. We have, so we have two freebies so far. I'm calling her business card a freebie. We have another freebie. These are full box overlays, and this is a gold foil overlay. I put in Nikki's name in notes to seller, and I was able to get Nikki's sampler. So this is a, it looks like a pixie dust hollow. I don't really know what the actual names are. Um, but yeah, look at that, that is so pretty. Clearly I don't use enough hollow foil. So we have like lashes, what's the plan, buy all the things, work out, couple of to-dos, lots of hearts, bows, and squiggles. Then for my actual order, again, rose gold and gold. So these are the rose gold coffee icons. Wait, right? Yeah. On the screen, they look like they're coming up gold, but these are actually the rose gold. And this is actually light gold. So I normally had just been buying her regular gold, but I decided to give her light gold a chance. And I have the other gold here. Yeah, so I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but like the regular gold is definitely more yellow than the light gold. So I think I might like the light gold better. Um, so it's the exact same sheet. I just, this is regular gold. This one is light gold. I wanted to get more things, but I wasn't sure if I was going to like the light gold compared to the regular gold or not. So I decided to just kind of chill and only get two sheets each. Um, I know I need more weekend banners, so I've used these plenty of times. So I got them in rose gold and light gold. So this was basically an order of me just trying to um, restock some of the things of hers that I have been using quite a bit. All right, another old favorite, Fox and Pip. So we have the freebie. So we have a congrats grad up there. We have her little um, give me space girl and a couple of other cute little things on the freebie. Um, so my reason for placing this order is because one of my favorite sticker sheets is actually being retired and I wanted to stock up on it. So since I was stocking up on one of my favorites, I decided to restock the morning person because this is one of my favorite coffee girls to use to mark my videos in my planner. Since I'm a coffee planner mom, I like to use coffee mugs. So I got that. And then this is the sheet that's going away. And I'm so sad about that. I think that this is adorable. It is the awesomer sheet. It's probably not available anymore because I placed this on like one of the last couple days that it was still going to remain listed in the shop. Um, but it's a girl drinking her wine and her shirt says, this wine is making me awesomer. And I, I got two sheets of it. Uh, no shame. I really love this sticker and I, I don't want to run out. So since I can't get it again, I got myself some extra sheets. Now something about her shop, her girls, you can customize it. Um, she has six different options. So you can get blonde hair with fair skin, brunette hair with fair skin, there's a tan option, red hair with fair skin, dark, yeah, dark hair and dark skin. I feel like I'm missing one. I feel like there were six options. Um, but I'm pretty sure I saw in an update that she posted that she's actually going to be incorporating new customizations or something along those lines. Um, don't quote me because I really didn't pay too much attention to the, um, the update. I had, it popped up on my feed and as soon as it popped up, Facebook refreshed and now I can't find it because my app doesn't work right. So that was Fox and Pip. And then we have the Simply Gilded box. Um, this is the May box and it's called Hello Dahlia-ing. So it's like a play on Darling and Dahlia's. 
So this was a peach and sage box, which I'm really excited about. So you see the little watercolor peaches, life, live life lusciously, and the sides of the box, I love that it always lets you know the name and the volume. So this one is pretty overstuffed. Um, I'm going to un like pull everything out of the box off camera because there's always a mystery item. So I have looked through this already, uh, but I want to get the mystery item out so I don't spoil it for anybody. All right, so we have everything out of the box and the mystery item off to the side. So I'm going to go mostly in order of the inventory card, but I always save the washi tape for the end. So that's going to be the only the only variation. So first things first is we have the journaling card. So it is a nice pink with the floral around the circle and it says sunny days ahead and we have the peach. I really love the watercolor like the watercoloring that she used in this box. We have the stickers and seals next. So these are the seals. So they are bow seals. Her her sticker paper is like a she calls it premium matte. It feels vinyl-y, like it feels kind of plasticky. Um and it can be a little bit difficult to work with as well, um, particularly undo. Like these stickers and undo don't really get along very well. Um, but all of the stickers are printed on that same, the seals too, printed on that same material. So these are the bow seals. So it is a gold foiling, which I don't think I mentioned. So that is going to be the foil in the box. Then you get these two small sheets. Um, so the floral actually has date dots, 1 through 31, and some icons. These are all shaped, and this page too, they are all kiss cut to be heart shaped. So we have heart, dollar sign, medical thing, bow, airplane, bow, credit cards, letter, camera, car, TV, trash, spray bottle, washing machine, knife and fork, nope, fork and spoon, dumbbells, and a book very small and dainty and then this is like a sage green and it's got basically all of those ones that I was mentioning yeah so like the bottom two rows is what this is and it repeats so it's two and then you get two three four sets of each of those rows then this is the kit itself I really like the font that she used for these headers let me see if I can get this spread out so that it's all on camera, basically. Okay, you end up getting nine full boxes and her boxes are, I think that they're supposed to be sized for an Erin Condren um, for like the height and the width. So an inch and a half wide. Although I've noticed when I was using Happy Planner and my Lace Planner Action inserts, they are a little slightly narrow um, and they're all supposed to be an inch and a half wide. So just keep that in mind they if you're using a happy planner you're going to need to use washi tape at the top or bottom of these boxes if you want to fill in the whole box of a happy planner so over here on this page we have two columns and it's a date so monday through sunday and then we have vacation and me time and then over here the headers it's today to remembers to importance to do to buy and to pay these are skinny headers. We have two meetings, two appointments, one hashtag washi Wednesday, groceries, meal plan, cleaning day, laundry day. And then we have hello Dahlia Inc. Love, celebrate, planning time, a bow, keep growing, and luscious. So we have some deco over here. We have a set of headers that are patterned just like the patterns that you see in the box. We have some flags and some bullets icons. We have four four heart checklists over here, two four heart checklists and one seven heart checklist. We have a little bit more deco and a box. Yeah, that's a box. And then four half boxes that you can write on. Now you do need to have a permanent pen or a Sharpie in order to write on this because like I said, it is not standard like regular mat or the like in like the 
sticker shop world what they consider premium matte. Like I said, this is more of a vinyl. So you're going to need a permanent pen or a Sharpie in order to write on these. And then I'm not going to open this up, but this is a B6 notebook and it is, it says Sweet Peach. It's got the pretty pattern on the front and then it has a sage green color on the back. And then her boxes are always awesome, but like, honestly, I probably look forward to these pens the most out of everything. So this is a black ink gel pen. It writes in a 0.5 tip and I have a piece of paper over here that I'm going to write out the name of the sub box and this is what Dahlia Dahliang Dahliang okay um, I write out the name of the sub box and then I swatch out the washi on it yeah I'm gonna swatch out the washi because it's really pretty um so yeah I love this pen always look forward to it every month I didn't really show it to you. So it's got the floral pattern on it. It's got gold hardware and a bow engraved on the top. All right, the drawstring pouch is next. It's that sage green color. She always includes a pouch in all of her boxes. Um, I'm really happy that she has started to vary it. The first, I think, eight boxes that I had gotten it was all the same style pouch. It was just the pattern, like the design of the pouch itself was coordinated with the sub box. Really good quality pouches. I use them and everything. But it's nice that it's getting varied. So we have a drawstring pouch. I think next month is also a drawstring pouch. I call it one of her lives, part of it. So it's nice. It's light. It's airy. It feels very, very delicate, though. So I don't think that this is something that I would put in my purse um, just because I'm really rough in there and I feel like this would get damaged just because I'm not the most careful. But this is probably something that I would keep on my dresser with some small little trinkets that I just want to keep like like a dust bag um, or like I have a bracelet that doesn't have a bag so I might just keep it in there. So that's the bag. And then we actually have a bow charm. So it's a lobster claw clip. I'm not going to pull it out. Um, just because I feel like I'm going to have a hard time getting it back in. But there is a leaf and a little flower over here that is attached to it. And it is a pink velvet. I'm probably going to regret this, but I'm going to pull these out of the cello bag. Um, I say that because like, I'm probably not going to be able to get them back in. Um, I always struggle. So this is vellum and acetate. So vellum is like that kind of cloudy, like cloudy material almost. Um, so you can't really see, th you can't like see through it. Like it's kind of opaque. Um, it's got the florals and the leaves really, really pretty. And then acetate is entirely clear. So, oh, okay, that's really odd. The inside of the acetate is the foil, is the gold foil, so the bows are all foiled. And then the outside is the back of the foil, which makes it look silver. Normally with her acetates, the foiling is on the exterior, not the interior. So that just kind of caught me off guard because like I said, it's not how she normally does it. Apparently I missed this on the, um, the inventory sheet. So this is the vegan leather sticker book. I'm really excited about this. We had one of these, I don't know, February maybe? I think it was February. So really pretty. It's got the floral pattern. It's got some scallops over here on the flap gold hardware snap button, and then the inside is that really pretty sage color. We have a little pocket here. And then these are actually side loading. And I feel like it's, and now all of my Fox and Pip stickers are buried. But I feel like this is about the size and will be perfect for the Fox and Pip sheets. And there's a lot of stickers and like spaces in here. So I might end up using this for my Fox and Pip stuff. I don't know, because I have quite a collection of those. 
And then last, we actually have the washi tape. So they're going all sorts of which ways, but that's all right. So we have the main washi. I call it the main washi. I don't know if it's actually called the main washi, but I, it's the bow washi. So we have 15 millimeter and 10 millimeter, and it looks like it is pink with the florals. And I'll, I'll roll them out so we can actually see. And then we have the peaches over here on this one and it looks like it's going to have the glitter just like from the uh um the masterpiece we have oh that's not right um we have sage colored date covers so it is perforated so all you do is you pull out the one and then you are able to just rip it very easily and then these are also perforated which I actually have been enjoying using. A jury was out for me if I liked perforated washi tape or not, and I do like it. And then we have the add-on washi. So everything else that you've seen, plus the mystery item, comes with the standard box. So you get a lot for the cost of the box. And then this you can add on, and I do. And I love it. I love the peachy color. I love the sage, the yellow, and then... I think I like the pink. I'm not sure. I have to roll that out. It looks like it's a matte silver and everything else is gold. I don't know. Let me get everything rolled out and I'll give you my thoughts in a second. All right, so it is completely unrolled. I actually already went through and talked all about this, but apparently I hadn't hit record. So I was just talking to my dog, apparently. Fun times. So one of the things that I mentioned is that when I was unrolling the 15 millimeter bow, it actually unrolled in the opposite direction that I was used to. So that actually gave me quite a quite a good laugh. I enjoyed that. Um, I had ripped the perforated ones on camera just to kind of show you how easily they rip. Um, you could use the peach colored one without doing perforations because it's perfectly like the pattern perfectly repeats. However, with the inverted foil, and that's what this one's called, it's called an inverted foil, or at least that's what Irene calls them, because the background is what the foiling is, but the design is non-foiled. So you can see where the perforation is, try to, there we go, so it's not glared, where the perforation is, you actually have those two little hearts, so you can see where the repeating pattern is. So if that's something that bothers you, you wouldn't be able to use this as a non-perforated option if it doesn't bother you, you can use it, just strip it out, nice and simple. Um, I did not open up the washi date cover strip perforated because I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not. I feel like I will because this is a little more neutral than the like periwinkle that came in one of the older sub boxes. Um, but just to bring this up so you can see all the foiling. Um, I love the heart and vine because I actually use them to make boxes for my spreads when I don't have like an actual box sticker that matches what I'm trying to do. Um, it's just very, very versatile. Now the pink one, it is a green, like heart and vine design. Otherwise my eyes are really playing tricks on me. Um, it's matte, it's not a high foil, like a high shimmer foil. So I'm fairly certain it's just matte. Um, and everything else is gold foil. This is actually micro glitters. You can kind of hear that it's got some texture to it. The other ones don't have texture. Um, but I'm, I really love these colors. I'm excited for these colors. Um, but that's actually going to do it for the Simply Gilded sub box. All right, and the last up in my haul is from Lights Planner Action. So this is a smaller than usual package. Um, normally I get classic Happy Planner inserts from her shop, um, but this time I decided to go with B6 size. So first we have the journaling card. It says stay light, stay bright, because that is her shop motto. And then on the back, it actually has a breakdown of all of the different sizes. So a classic happy planner is seven by nine and a quarter. And I got a B6TN, so it is five by seven. So that is the difference. A B6TN is actually really comparable to a mini happy planner. It is the same height. It's just a little bit taller than a mini HP. 
So in case you were looking for something else um, or just wanted to know what the sizing is by comparison. So that is what I've got. So she has inserts for ring bound planners, TNs and disc bound. And she also now has spirals. So if you want to get it as a coil, you can, you just order. And I mean, she has like the actual references on her IGTV, but they are ring bound sizes. And I think she can also coil the happy planner sizes. So that is that. Oops. But like I said, I've got three B6 inserts to go through. So the first one that we're going to check out is a daily. Um, I didn't bring the paper down here actually. Man. Okay, I had to go and get my packing slip. I left it upstairs because I was like, oh, I don't need it. It has my address on it, but it has the description. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out though is that the, um, the B6 actually comes with more like all of her b6 inserts i don't think there's any exceptions they come with more pages than the classic happy planner just because of how big the happy planner pages and a5 also or a4 whatever it it has it on the listing the two largest sizes that she offers comes with less pages so i think that this is ends up being 40 days worth so this is the doodle style. That's what I wanted to check. So it is a daily insert. It is undated. So all of the pages are going to be set up like this. Up at the top, you can fill in what the date is. You can circle what day of the week. You have your list of to do's, a little box down here for notes, a hydration tracker and a column, which looks like, yeah, here's my ruler. Looks like it is an inch and a half, yes. It is, that is perfect. Okay, that's what I thought. So the reason why I wanted to check an inch and a half is a standard vertical column and it is a graph paper. And that's all of the pages are going to be like that. The entire insert is just those pages. And then the binding, it is actually a stapled binding. I did not know that. So that's kind of cool. Are they all stapled? They are all stapled. Okay. I've never gotten TN inserts ever besides like the ones that come in the simply gilded stuff boxes. So that is a daily insert. Then I got the influential plans insert. I love the covers on these two. They're really cool. So the influential plans, I'm going to go through this a little more in depth because it is going to vary based on the page. So, oh, did I mention over here that this is a dot grid. I'm gonna turn it upside down because I'm a tripod. So I don't, I can't even see if you can see. So I'm gonna hold this one up because this is also a dot grid. Yeah, I can kind of see that. So all dot grids, this is the inside of the cover in the first page. It says true influence is about leveraging authenticity. So you turn the page and you have an accountability tracker I don't know how I'm gonna use this, but this is what we have. Um, but I mean, it's got other pages. So this is also undated. Um, she did have dated options, but I figured I'd get it undated because I'm like, maybe I'll use it for June and get started earlier. But I placed this like on Memorial Day. There was, it was not going, I wasn't going to get a full June out of it. So I am going to wait until July to get started in this just so that I can get started with a full month. And what I might do is do like a perpetual calendar style over here. Um, but you can get it dated. It is done quarterly. So January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So I could have done it dated, honestly. Um, so we have a Sunday through Saturday monthly calendar with a notes column over here and a little space here or here that you can fill in the month. Then is this the next page? It is. Her paper is nice and thick. We have, I don't even know what this page is going to be called, but we have a shop box and then what your order was. And then you can track when you've, sh when it has shipped, when you received it and if you have reviewed it. So this is for any shopping that you do throughout 
the current month, so we'll say July. Then over here, any new releases for shops that you are trying to keep track of. Maybe you're a PR person and you need to keep track of the shops that you PR for, their new releases that they have coming up. Maybe you just want to keep track of your favorite shops as they announce that they have new releases coming out. Any sort of priorities that you have, any promotions, maybe collab sales, $2 Tuesdays, those sort of things that you need to keep track of for, like I said, for shops that you PR for or any, if you just want to keep track of it for yourself. Action items. I love the social growth over here. Um, I do have a Pinterest account, but I don't really like do anything publicly on it and I'm not concerned. Um, so I'm not going to use that. I might cover it up and do something else. But we have Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest, and then two blank spots that you can keep track of where you start the month and where you end the month. So I'm excited for that. Then we get into the weekly spreads. So we have, and this is, these are done an inch and a half, I think. Pull out my handy ruler. Yep, inch and a half. So they're gonna be compatible with any of your standard box stickers that you use. So you can keep track, you date it here, you can keep track of anything that you need to for social. So like I said, this is the influential plans. Um, so this is meant as like a an influencer's planner. Um, so I'm gonna be using this as my social media. Should have said that. So this is gonna be my social media planner. So keep track of any of the posts that you need to do for like Facebook, Instagram, I don't know what that darked out with an S is, but you keep track of the, like what posts you want to put up for the day and then check off as you put them up where they need to go. Anything that you need to get done, sales and promotions, new followers, daily tasks. This is like a habit tracker square over here and you have Monday through Saturday and then Sunday down here. So the Sunday box is slightly shorter than the Saturday box, but it's okay if you were to get this in one of the bigger sizes it might have an extra column and be like across but like I said I wanted to go with a b6 so we've got one two three four five five weeklies and then you get into the next monthly and there shouldn't be anything different about that yeah so you've got shop trackers so this is going to track any orders that you have coming in what you want to do for your social media accounts for the upcoming month and then you get into your one two three four four one two three four four weekly spreads okay so i'll just have to keep track of how to organize the dates so I'll probably have the August transition week in with July and then have the August to September transition in with September so then you've got your weeklies and then at the back is it one of these pages yes you have one page of great ideas. So this, these two boxes are graph papers and then you have lines down at the bottom. So you only get those two pages. I really liked those two pages though. I thought that they were really nifty and interesting. So I got the executive promos. So this is actually, she has an entire executive planner and that's if you are running a shop so if you wanted to, like if you had a shop to run, it's a little more in depth than the social media influencer planner that I got and I just flipped through, but it's pretty comparable, the executive planner and the influencer planner, but I really like the end of that. And that's what the executive promos is for the most part. You have that section of graph paper up here and then the line box down here it's actually two line boxes so we have design and production and then marketing and if i need to change what these titles are i can put stickers over them and retitle these boxes and that's what this entire insert is it is just those pages so i really like that that was available as an option but that that is it for these and I thought these were a really great deal. Each of these little notebooks was seven dollars 
and I'm trying to see if there was anything else. Yeah, so we have, this was a doodle style. This one's labeled as undated, but it had dated options. And then this one is just, it comes as it is. Um, but these are all available in multiple other sizes as well. Um, I just opted for the B6 because I have a B6 actual TN cover that I got from Simply Gilded a few sub boxes ago. So I have something that I can put these in and that's why I decided to go with these. And that's it for my Lights Planner Action Order. And that does it for my fairly large haul. I've got six shops in here. That's quite a bit for me. Um, I'm really excited with everything that I have and I'm really looking forward to diving in, especially getting the my social media planner all set up because that's what all of these are for. I should have mentioned that about the daily. Um, that I was going to be using that for more day to day as needed in depth social media planning. Um, but I'm really excited about the influential plans. Just wanted to make sure that I had the options over here. Really excited that I was able to get my hands on more of my favorite Fox and Pip girl and one that I just use a lot of. Loving the Peach and Sage from the Simply Gilded box, Graceful Muse Papery, Rose Colored Days is always awesome. And I'm excited to start using my Simply Beautiful Plans new stickers that I got in. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my other videos. If you press the bell icon, it'll actually give you pop-up notifications so that you'll know as soon as my videos go live. And be sure to be following me over on Instagram. Over there, I'm at Coffee Planner Mom, and I will see you guys later.